All right, so we're on the home stretch. What we need to do then is figure out what the actual hydrogen ion concentration is so we can take the pH. The way we're going to do that is we're going to set up the equilibrium expression according to the law of mass action, which would be the concentration of products, products divided by the concentration of the reactants. So we can set that expression up, product of the products over the product of the reactants, so H plus A minus over HA. And then we just substitute in our values. The Ka value for acetic acid is a known constant. That is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. It's a unitless value. It it's, um, kind of gives us a reference for how it behaves, and we can use that to compare it with other acids and bases. Um, do a quick substitution and rearrangement. We can then work out that. Let's see. Our x times x over 1.16 minus x is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. So if you run all the algebra through on that, you're going to get x is actually equal to 4.57 times 10 to the negative 3. I typically don't tell people how to do algebra, but I'm assuming you guys will find a way through. This one's a quadratic expression. There are several shortcuts on your calculators that allow you to generate that value solving for x. Now, it's very important to identify what does x specifically describe. In all these problems, we always have to stop and ask ourselves, what does x describe before we think we're done? We've developed a habit in our math classes that the moment we get this value, we think we're done. But in a chemistry course, that x value probably has a few more stages of, of development before our problem is actually complete, before we've gone back and addressed our original question. And in this case, our original question is, what's the pH of a vinegar solution? So that x value represents the concentration of the anion, but it also represents the concentration of the hydrogen ion. We could also use the x value to determine how much of the original acid is left over. In this case, most of it. You realize that that 4 shows up here after the 6 in the thousandth place. So most of the acetic acid is still present. So you have an acidic solution, but most of the original material is left in the original form. If we take the negative log of that, that gives us our actual hydrogen ion concentration in terms of pH. And so the negative log of 4.57 times 10 to the negative 3, well, you know it's going to be less than 3 because that's that value. When you take negative log of that and then subtract that less than 1 value from it, you're going to end up with a number greater than 2 but less than 3 as a pH value. And a calculation of that will show you that it is 2.340. When we're dealing with sig figs, I don't really count our um, Ka values as part of our sig figs issue. And I'll take the 3 from my earlier calculation, which gives me 3 here, which is the number of points past the decimal report in our pH value. Uh, you can check your math references on why we do it that way. And hopefully that showed up on the screen. Let me step around the front of this. And it just barely did. And that is how you use an ice table to calculate concentration of materials in, a, in an equilibrium system.